Hello everyone, welcome to the channel. Today in this video, we are going to learn how to create a formula that checks whether the date is greater than today or not in Salesforce. And we are going to learn this concept for both Salesforce Lightning as well as the classic edition. So let's first proceed and learn how we create a formula that checks whether the date is greater than today or not. So if you want, you have to utilize the comparison operators that is greater than and greater than equal to with the two days function of the Salesforce. So let's proceed and learn to check whether the date is greater than today or not in Salesforce Lighting with the help of example. Here I open my Salesforce account and by default it is open in a Lightning edition. So here I click on object manager that is located on a navigation bar on a top. After clicking on it, it shows me all the objects of a Salesforce and now from this object manager, I have to search for the object on which I want to create a formula that checks whether date is greater than today or not. And for this, I am going to use an example of the order object. So I search for an order and click on it. After that, I have to click on the field and relationship option located on a left side. After clicking it, I have a new button on a right side. I click on it. It asks me to choose the field. As we are going to create a formula, so I will choose the formula 1 by clicking on the radio button next to it and click on the next button to proceed to the next step. Now in this step, it asks me to enter the field label name. So here I enter the field label name as a order track. And when I click on a field name, it automatically populated. While scrolling down, it has a section of a formula return type. So now it's time to choose the return type of the formula. So I am going to choose the text one as I want to print some text. After that, I click on the next button to proceed to the next step. Now in this, we have to enter the formula in the advanced formula tab, which checks whether the date is greater than today or not and gives the result of the order track on the basis of that. I use multiple function of a Salesforce from this function category. I use the operator from this insert operation drop down and I insert the fields from this insert field button. So here I am going to add the formula first. So here I enter up my formula. So now I explain you here I firstly use the if function that determines whether the shipment date is greater than today or not. So here I enter the shipment date field and for today, I use the today function that fetch out the today's date. Then if it is true, it will print the text as a order is not shipped yet. And if it is not, it will print order will be delivered soon. After that, I click on the check syntax button that shows you the message. There is no syntax error in the above formula. You can also add the description and the help text of for this formula and even you can handle the blank fields. Then I click on the next button and proceed to the next step. Now in this step, we have to choose the field profiles to whom you want to grant the edit assess of this field. So I remain this checked field as it is and click on the next button and proceed to the next step. Now it's time to choose the page layout. On which page you want to add this field. So there is only one page layout for the order object that is order layout. So it is already checked. So I remain as it is and click on the save button. So once I click on the save button, it successfully create a formula field with the concept of check whether the date is greater than today or not. Now it's time to check how it's work. So I click on an app launcher. I search for the orders item. So when I click, it will open up the orders. Either create a new order or you can open up your already created order and check for that also. So here I create a new order. So here I create an order that has a shipment date of 1st of September 2023. So it shows me the message as order is not shipped yet because the date is greater than today. So with this, we have successfully learned 
to create a formula field in a Salesforce Lightning that checks whether the date is greater than today or not. So now we are going to learn this concept for the Salesforce Classic also. So firstly, we have to move to the Classic one. Click on your profile. Here you will get an option of a switch to a Salesforce Classic. Click on it. It redirect to the Classic Edition. Now here on the top, you have a setup option. Click on it. Now scroll down and on the left side, you will see a build section. Under this, you have a customized drop down. Now from here, choose the object in which you want to apply your condition which check whether the date is greater than today or not. So I am going to show you example this time for the cases object. So I click on the drop down and from here I choose the fields. Now I scroll down and in the end I have a case custom fields and relationship section. So from here, I click on a new button. So as I want to create a new field. So now it's time to choose the field type that you want to create. I am clicking on a formula one as we are going to create a formula field. I click on the next button, proceed to the next step. And this time I enter the field label as a active status. When I click on a field name, it automatically populated. I scroll down and from the formula return type, I choose the radio button and click on the next button to proceed to the next step. Now here I have to enter the formula with the concept of that checks whether the date is greater than today or not for getting up the activate status of a case. So here I am going to use multiple function from this function section. I use the operators from this operators button and I'm using the fields from this insert field. So let's wait. I am writing my formula. So here is the formula. Now I explain you. Here I use the if function that checks whether the close date is equal to today date or not. So here I use the date value function to fetch up the only date from the close date because the close date field is a date time field and I only need a date value for this reason I use the date value function then I use the greater than equal to operator that checks that whether it is greater than today or not and I use the today function to fetch out the today date after that if it is true I again use the if function with the date value function in the close date to check that whether the date is equals to today or not. If the date is equal to today, it means the date is same as the today's date. It prints the message case is active for one day. If not, it print case is active for here I use the concatenate operator to concatenate both the strings and here I use the text text function to convert the result to the text one. It subtracts the two day date and the date close date and prints dates. If both the condition falls, it prints the case is deactivated. And here I again use the concatenate operator. Here I use the text function that's Print the result of a subtraction of a close date from the two days date and print the value as a case is deactivated from the X number of date days. So here I click on the check syntax button to check that whether the formula is correct or not. It shows that it is correct. There is no error. Now if you want, you can add the description and help text. If you want, you can also handle the blank fields. After that, click on the next button to proceed to the next step. So now in the next step, you have to choose the feed level type security. Here you have to choose the profiles to which you want to grant the edit access of the feed. So here some of the profiles are already selected, but I want to grant the edit access to all the fields. So I click on the visible checkbox that is on the top and I click on the next button and proceed to the next step. Now in this step, you have to choose the page layout in which you want to include this feed. So here we have a multiple page layout. You can select only 
that one in which you want to include this field. So I remain this setting as it is, as I want to include on all. So I click on the save button simply to save this formula that checks whether the today date is greater than today or not. Now it's time to check whether it is working or not. So I open my cases item from the top navigation bar and here I open up my case. So here you can see that it shows the activate status as a case is activate for one day because the date time close is of a 27th of August 2023. So with this we have learned how to create a formula in Salesforce classics that check that whether the date is greater than today or not. So with this we have learned how to check the date is greater than today or not for both Salesforce Lightning and the classic edition by creating a formula. So if this video was helpful, click on the like button and also subscribe to our channel for more videos like this one. Thanking you for watching and have a great day.